a lot of power. I love Ontario. We've been trucking east, man. Um, we've been having fun. Pistol actually took a little beach romp. Was that Lake Superior? Yes. I think so. Yeah, there's a nice... What on? I don't know. I don't know. Check it out. <laughs> we're tying it to the railroad tracks. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we're just east of Blind River, Ontario. Or is that Blind Horse, Margaret? No, it's, no, it's Blind River. Blind River. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it both ways. Blind River, Ontario. Um, there's a little spot. We can actually spend the night here if we wanted, but I think we're going to move on. Um, but you come up over the railroad tracks and maybe Pistol Girl can dip her toes in the lake. This is still Lake Superior, yeah? Babe? Yes. Yes. Okay. Superior. Yeah, Pistol hasn't had a good beach romp. And this, a lot of the beaches here I've noticed are rocky, but this particular one said it was sandy. So there it is. I'm really excited. Pistol, you want to go play? So now we're actually staying with some friends a couple nights in Orillia, Ontario, and um, just a few days ago our AC up front here went out. It's still blowing, but it's not blowing cold air, so we wanted to get that looked at. And then a belt squeaks periodically when we start up, so we want that looked at as well. So we called um, the Dodge dealer here on Highway 11 and they got us right in. So. Hopefully it's something simple. Yeah. Luckily it's only been 70 degrees, so we've been able to drive without the air conditioner. However, well, the cool thing is, one day it got a little bit warm, so I pull over and I just turned on the the coach. That was very handy. The coach <laughs> air conditioner, and we drove with that on for a while. <laughs> if I look exhausted, I'll tell you why. It's because <laughs> 5 a.m. is the wake-up call for mosquitoes in the van. We get them out at night, like we think we kill them all, but they queue up in different little pockets, like they just hide and then at five in the morning they start waking up but it's not all at once it's one at a time so they come oh it's we've talked about it before it is seriously choreographed planned effort you kill it you think it's got to be it back to sleep 10 oh. minutes later yeah i think it was the fifth time you just got up i just got up <laughs> so and she's like the best insect repellent I've ever had. So as soon as she got up and came and sat down in the front. He was fine. I was fine. So I covered everything but my head, right? Because I still have to breathe. 
they bit my head. I have a big You're just so mosquito bite yummy. on my head. Even mosquitoes know how awesome you are. I guess. <laughs> I should take it as a compliment. <laughs> All right, let's get in there and see if they can help us out here. Well, I learned something. I learned that when I call to make an appointment, I need to make sure it's a ProMaster, that they can serve as ProMasters, not just Dodge. I always just, still, it's, not a, it's a ramp. It's a ramp. I always think that's all one thing, but it's not. Um, so the AC, our condenser. The condenser has a, a leak. Could be a very small leak. So they charged it, so we have AC now. They don't have any parts to fix it. Um, but it's no... It's no hurry. We can fix it when we need to. So yeah, he he, he said it could last three months. It could last, last a week. A we don't know how big the leak is. So yeah. Anyway, we have to change the condenser. Yeah, and that's that's no biggie. And they couldn't look at the belt because they can't lift this here. Um, this dealership can't do that. So really, the belt only squeaked like two times, and now it hasn't. So I don't really know. But the <clears> next <throat> place we come to that. Can take a look we'll have them do that um but everything else is in tip top shape, nice I folks think. here yeah really nice yeah um i think we gotta run a couple other errands then we're gonna meet up with our friends shauna and toes they are pickleball fanatics and i've never played pickleball dave's never played pickleball dave's not interested in playing pickleball <laughs> but we're gonna play pickleball and i'm actually kind of excited about it so uh that's gonna be happening yeah so let's run our errands today and then catch up with them later Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Time for pickleball. We're with our friends' toes. And Shauna's up here. Hi, Shauna. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, they promised us uh, pickleball, and we've never played. They're pretty much pros, so Who's they're going to. They're going to. I didn't grab. I didn't bring any pickles. No pickles. <laughs> Fresh out of pickles. And we're not pickled yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah we're not pickled yet. <laughs> oh yeah, is that's that the rule? Post pickled ball is getting pickled. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna do this, then we're gonna go get burgers and maybe tots if they have tots. I'm pretty excited about that. Actually. They're Canadian tots, though. They're a little different. They are. Yeah, okay. Canadian. Everything's a little different here. All right, let's do this. So do you know the history of the game? No. no. So there's this urban legend about the history of how it became pickleball. It's not a legend. It's sort of. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but. There was this guy in the States who played tennis and his kids and his grandkids would come to their property. And so he wanted to create a sport that they could all play together. And their dog's name was Pickle. Oh. So they created this sport and, and uh, he made them out of like little wooden paddles and, and so they could all play. And yeah. really, realistically, we've played with uh, individuals who are physically disabled and 10 year olds and 80 year olds. So I it's think a game for everyone. Yeah. Well, stay, stand by, I'm gonna be. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's allowed. Okay, so just what's the New gist rules. of the game? The lighter. So think of this as table tennis, badminton, okay. and tennis put together. You can actually put two pickleball courts on one tennis court. Oh, so, so it's, you're it's a lot load. shorter. She wants you. Come okay. on, Dave. Y'all ready to be slaughtered? <laughs> I'm not competitive at all, so. Cool. Uh, so you know how it feels to hit it. Yeah. You know? it, it was on the line, so it's in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just, just do gentle. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Keep going. You're good. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Good, Dave. Uh, I move up. Yeah, you're with me. You? Good, good, good. Stay back. Up, Dave. Good. You're good. Ah! <laughs> what do you want? I took it off, dude. What do you want? I took it off. I, 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 I,
She had the stance again. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Good game. Good score, Dave? Yeah, who won? Tell us again. Oh, we smoked the ass so bad. The boys versus girls. It was close. Sorry. Was that close? We won. I think we gave him seven points, though, to start. Didn't we start? No, no, what was the score? It's 10 to 9, right? 11, 11 to 9. Oh, 11 to 9. 11 and we earned every one of those points. You know what else we earned? A burger and toss. Let's go. Nobody likes to start with it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like to showboat. Tots, man. We earned these tots. What'd you get? You got onion rings. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for the fun pickleball lesson today. Pickleball. Pickleball. To pickleball. To pickleball. To your new sport. Yes. <laughs> pickleball was fun. It was pretty fun. I had moves. <laughs> you had moves and, for days. And noises. Moves like Jagger. I don't know about like Jagger, but... <laughs> This is where we've been hanging out past three nights. This Cahagoy Farms, uh, Coyles Brewery, Friend Toes is building this right now. And we actually took a little tour um, last August, I think we were here. So next time we are here, we're hoping that it will be open and we'll take an actual, actual tour of it live. I think they're shooting for finish time in September, but yeah, check out the... We should put a link to the last video. Oh yeah, video. I'll try and do that in the description or something. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah. But it was a, we talked to Toes about it's a really cool history about this property. That, uh, yeah, it's a phenomenal so. piece of property. They little got hot farm. There's some geese over there. Little goslings. So cute. We've had an awesome time the past couple of days. We're gonna meet them for coffee this morning and then head on to uh, another friend's place. Now they're a little more camera shy, so probably won't film much over there. Um, it's probably a good thing we have to get to New Jersey, otherwise we'd probably wind up just staying here and <laughs> getting a job working on the brewery or something. Training up. <laughs> Work uh, for beer. <laughs> yeah. So at night here, the mosquitoes come out like crazy, of course, but also the frogs are insane. Frogs and toads. They're so, thick in that pond. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. It's just like an orchestra. Listen to this. that crazy it's so loud it's kind of soothing i don't hear it a lot in the van but i kind of like it and i caught a frog too he was pretty cute and then you kissed it yeah this is <laughs> what i ended up with shall we we shall yeah we're gonna meet them for coffee and head on down the road see you guys down there carry on carry on